This is not the 112 Collective Punisher by Mezco. <laughs> What's up, guys? Thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffalus, and today we'll be unboxing a fake. Let's do it. This is not the Mezco 112 Collective Punisher. This is a fake. This clone is a China clone. This is something that you get on eBay and or AliExpress for $30 because you thought, hey, this is the real deal. I don't want to spend $400. That's right. We're looking at a bootleg right now. We're going to open it up. We're going to see how it is in terms of paint, detail, articulation, and scale. And accessories is it worth the money or should you just buy the real deal you know I have the real deal I just can't find it right now I believe I put it up in storage so unfortunately we cannot compare the real deal but we do have other action figures that we're gonna compare it to so enough of me talking let's go to the top cam what's up everyone on twitch.tv forward slash dstar01 we got Autobot gaming we got Goku 3145 we got Rip Toxie we got Pokemon Master Dark, we got Eerie Clark, we got, I'm doing all my shoutouts, we got Geo 260 Argue Bros, uh, man, just everyone is here today, thank you all for jumping on and watching the stream, and don't forget Ricky714, so let's open this guy up, I remember back in the day when this guy was available at Comic Con, I was, I, I just ran into, I didn't even know he was going to be an exclusive, I just ran into the Mezco booth and I said, oh look, there's a Punisher, he comes with a Gatling gun, I might as well just give it a look. So I bought it, and next thing you know, all my friends were like, "You can you get me one? Can you get me one?" I'm like, "What? Yeah, he's super exclusive, oh my god!" And then uh, I didn't get anyone one, unfortunately, because I didn't know. If I knew, I would have bought like bought a bunch of them. But now this guy is super rare, super hard to find. Well, the real one. I wouldn't say the bootleg. And uh, yeah, he's worth quite a bit of money. So let's look at this guy. Let's see if he's worth it. If anything, if anything. The guns are going to be worth it, I think. So what we have here is we have an M4, the A134, they have the mask, uh, the MAC-10, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So let's look at the figure first, and let's go to the front cam. First things first, I'm just going to tell you right off the bat, yikes, his costume is not skin tight like the original at all. In fact, it looks really loose and kind of all over the place. Uh, yeah, he, he has a flat butt. <laughs> uh, he, yeah, the costume is not good. I can tell you right off the bat, when I, when I took the real one out, I was like, wow, this is a really nice costume. You can tell that the material is not of the same quality, but nonetheless, it gets the job done, and he looks like Punisher. Let's look at the face sculpt. I'm going to tell you right now, the face sculpt is not awful. It's very ugly. <laughs> um, it's missing a matte finish, but it's close to the real thing. I'm going to tell you right now, it's close. It looks like they went a little overboard on the eyes there, a little too blue. It definitely pops out a little too much. So there you go. The face sculpt is decent. The suit isn't made from the real stuff, but you know what? It gets it gets the job done. Like I said, the belt looks like a Punisher belt, and the shoes look decently well. I have to say, regardless of the costume and the face sculpt just looking so-so, it's not a bad Punisher figure for the $30 that I paid for it. And got it shipped here. It took like two months to get here. So it's not awful. In fact, let's do a quick articulation check. Is this guy going to break apart? Ooh. Oh, that's not good. So this is a really tight joint. In fact, that could possibly break. <laughs> yeah, the, the real one does not do that. Uh, let me take out a Mezco real quick. And let me show you what I mean. So we have Supreme Knight Batman here. See? No squeaks. Nice and smooth kicking joints. This guy, on the other hand, <laughs> yeah, that's not good. He's really tight on the legs there, but the arms seem decent. Honestly, I wouldn't expect this guy to last very long. Maybe you should just put this guy in the back shelf and say, look, I got a Mesco Punisher, and you're good to go. So let's move on to articulation and scale. Let's see how tall this guy's standing. He's standing at, what is that, six, almost six and a half inches tall. Here's a real deal. Like we said before, here is a real deal. Supreme Knight Batman. And these are these two standing together right there. And they look pretty good. I have to say, they look pretty decent. And we have an SH figure arts real deal. UI Omen Goku right there. P Bandai exclusive. And Marvel Legends. Peter B. Parker. And sure, why not? Because I have him here. Here is Bring Arts Cloud. 
that's how they work. Let's talk about articulation. Again, that squeaky joint. Oh, my gosh. Up and down here at the ankle. No toe joint. We got a double jointed knee right there. We got that joint right there at the crotch. Can you do ab crunches? So-so. Can you do a swivel? So-so. The suit kind of holds it, holds them together, so we can't quite do a hip movement right there. Have an up and down here at the shoulder. And, yeah, that looks like a really good joint right there. But he can't hug himself, so there's no butterfly joint. We do have bicep swivel, though. Bend at the elbow right there. Ball and peg here at the wrist. And two joints of the neck looking to be well above 20 points of articulation. He can't really do much in terms of a front kick, but he can side kick, which I guess works. Uh, mostly what you will be using this guy for is just for him to hold guns and look cool. So here's the cool part of this. Let's jump right into this. Let's go to the top can. Let's show you. Look at these accessories. This is really what you're buying this guy for, I think, especially when it comes to a bootleg. If these accessories are really good, then I'd have to say, yes, I did spend a good amount of money on solid accessories here, which would be the stand, the bazooka. Let's see what else do we have? We have a Glock 19. We have effect pieces right here. Uh, let's see, again, we have the Gatling gun, the M4 with grenade launcher, M203 grenade launcher with the other grenades, the MAC-10, the mask, and it looks like we get a coat, maybe a duffel bag, and the bullets for the Gatling gun. First off, before I continue, let's see what's going on in chat on Twitch. Uh, Cookie Dog, yes, you did. You, you missed paint and detail. Uh, yeah, very crunchy, super crunch. <laughs> My goodness. Uh... That's kind of an issue for me. I, I guess if I were to buy this, let's say I didn't have the real one, this guy would just go on the back shelf. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that is it. Let's look at the accessories here. Well, let's go to the front cam. And let's start off with the accessories, and then we'll, we'll, pull, we'll let him hold it. This is the, the Gatling gun, the mini gun. The 134. I'm seeing if there's anything wrong with it. Let's see if we can focus up. I don't think the real one uh, rotates, but there it is. It actually looks pretty decent. This thing has really no mold lines, no imperfections. It actually looks pretty decent right there. Let's look at the M4A1. And there's the M4A1. Now, I've always had an issue with the M4 from uh, Mezco, and that is the, the pistol grip is way too big it's way too wide and i know it's there to accommodate the hands that are a little bit bigger but honestly they could have scaled that better for it to work i never like that that's on the original as well the magazine does remove and it looks like the 556 is in there and it looks like we can switch out mags with the extra magazine the m203 does open up so you can accommodate the grenades uh, i guess we'll look at that later and yeah, everything looks good. It has the aim point right there. It looks really solid. Nothing really wrong except for, like I said, this. It looks like they went a little bit too much on the scratches, but that's fine. You're only paying $30 for this toy anyway. So that's the M4. Let's look at the Mac 10 with the silencer. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. I think what we're missing here is they made a... Pr There's an issue right here. We should see like a little indentation right here on the stock, but you know what? That's fine. Like I said, you're only paying 30 bucks. Silencer is not removable, but the magazine is, and it does come with an extra mag. As you can see right here, the 45 is visible on the magazine, and you can put that in right that, like that. And there you have it. There's the Mac 10 right there, looking pretty good. And let's look at the other faces. Oh, ah, <laughs> ugly. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think something is definitely missing from this face sculpt. I mean, it does look like Frank Castle. It's just not the best looking one. Uh, but mostly what we're going to put on is this one. So let's put on the yelling face first. If I can remove it. No, I can't. Whew. Wow, that was a really tight fit. All right, let's, let's see what he looks like when he's yelling. That's how he looks like when he's yelling. And then we're going to see if we can keep this this head on. Ugh. Okay, that's not going in. Give me a second. All right, there you go. There, there you go. That looks good. That looks all right. That looks all right. Uh, let's get some hands up in here. Uh, so I'm assuming Frank is a right-handed shooter. So, oh man. 
That wasn't supposed to come off. So this part's supposed to stay in Frank. Oh, man. Well, I guess this is something to expect. Oh, man. Come on. There we go. All right. Looks like you need tools for this guy to work. Uh, so let's do this again. There we go. So let's see if he can put on this, the hand at least. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, there's our issue right there. They did not drill that out enough. And that peg is not going on there without some modification. Ooh. That's not good. That's not good. Um, yeah, that's that's really bad, actually. You're going to... Well, right out of the gate, that's bad. But, I mean, you could definitely fix it. Let's see if we can fix that on screen right now. All right, let's try that. On the fly fixing. D-Star. Okay, come on. All right, so we did manage to get it on. So, disclaimer, you need to uh, use your tools. Again, we're having issues with the hands. You know what? Let's just see if you can even put on stuff. <laughs> this is the problem with bootlegs, man. <laughs> it's like nothing ever works as intended. you you got to learn how to, to make it work. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's really what it is. <clears throat> Come on. And there you go. There he is holding his Mac-10 as best as he can. Uh, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of an issue. This is not sticking. I have to really modify the hand for it to work. Let's see if we can even get it with the M4. And no, that's... Yeah, that, that can work. That can work. So that's how he looks like with the M4. Ah, it's just stick on. Never mind. Let's just move on with the accessories, and then we can come up with a conclusion. Let's get this over with. I kind of don't want to mess with this too much. Here's the Glock 19 which is, wow, that's a really big Glock. I don't think it's supposed to look like that. Uh, can you take out the mag? Yeah, you can. You can take out the magazine. It looks like it's scaled a little bit bigger than the original. So there it is right there. And let's look at the bazooka right here. And I think that's it. Then we have effect pieces and whatnot. Now, let's come up with a conclusion of this guy just so we can get this out of the way. Is this worth 30 bucks? I, I have to say yes. Just because the accessories are cool, you can put them on other figures. It, it's an okay figure. It's not bad. It's not awful. It's just unfortunate that whenever it comes to action figures, I think it should be a, a smooth sailing experience. All the accessories should work without ever taking out pliers, tools, and whatnot. This will not be an easy experience for people who don't know how to deal with action figures like this that are overly tight or too loose or the hands don't fit. Let me just tell you right now, hot water, micro pliers, or even just regular pliers will help you f make this figure work for you. Don't want to do it on stream on twitch.tv forward slash dstar01 to fix this guy because this would take a solid 30 minutes. Don't want to waste anyone's time. So that's my take on it. It's just decent. I mean, now you know that at least the accessories aren't falling apart and they work. They're actually decently molded. If you know how to airbrush, you can make them look even better. I think they look fine as they are. And yeah, that's my take on it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when we post new videos. And last but not least, if you're looking for real deal, 100% authentic action figures, you know where to go. Say it with me, everyone on stream. You can go to www.dstartoys.com your live source for awesome action figures thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time peace out
like, comment, and subscribe. Where? Right here, not there, right here. You, and thanks for watching. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. Right here, right there, right here. Yeah.